Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says West Nile cases are on the rise here in Georgia. Here's the, really the best way to know whether you might have it. You'll have these symptoms, fever, body aches, and rashes. Trust me, it's there, but those are the symptoms to watch. Today's urgent warning, not to scare you, rather we want to urge you to use caution when heading outside. Georgia currently has six cases. That's far less than many states in the country. The cases are in these counties, Chatham, Cherokee, DeKalb, Fulton, Hall, and Richmond. Atlanta News First Abigail Soros reports. Total life-changing moment with one mosquito, which just... West Nile virus is the last thing Ann Dillard expected as a healthy 53-year-old living in downtown Atlanta. She's here at Emory Hospital, unable to move her legs and awaiting physical therapy. It started as a rash, then a fever. Dillard went to urgent care, but doctors couldn't tell her what was causing her symptoms. And then days later, my legs would shake like I just did a really hard workout. You know that feeling? Put my legs over, they just buckled underneath me. I landed on my knees and then I was like, okay, like I couldn't get up. I got myself to the door, uh, scooting and unlocked it, called 911. And then they took me here to Emory. Her doctors at Emory performed a spinal tap. That's when she found out she had contracted West Nile virus. Which just blows my mind, you know. Dillard is one of six cases in Georgia. Other cases have spread around Dahlonega, Augusta, Savannah, Fulton, and DeKalb counties. <laughs> Natasha Agramonte with the DeKalb County Department of Public Health is catching and testing mosquito larvae in these traps. When mosquitoes test positive, they treat in those communities. In other parts of the country, it's been a little bit higher than it has been here. But um, so far from what we've seen from the activity, this is turning out to be a, a fairly typical year. Maybe it might be trending a little higher, but we're not quite there yet. Most people with West Nile virus will have mild or no symptoms, but it can cause more severe symptoms affecting the brain. I get mosquito bites all the time in the summer, like all the time. I'll look down, I'll be free there. I, I swat them, I kill them, whatever. You know, I just, I, I just didn't know. Dillard says if she would have known, she would have taken precautions and she's telling people to do the same. The Georgia Department of Public Health urges people to wear long sleeves if they're heading outside or use an approved bug spray and make sure there's no standing water in your backyard. Indicator, I'm Abby Casores.